What is up everyone? So in this video, I am going to be showing you how you can go about negotiating prices with influencers. So in the last video, I showed you how you can go about and reach out to influencers, you know, so you can actually get your voice heard so they can actually go and read your message. Um, and in this video, I'm going to be going a step further and showing you pretty much how you can negotiate with the influencers once they reply to your message. So typically, once you've sent a message like this, um, they should reply with a list of their prices. OK, so typically they'll either send it in an image format or, you know, however they decide to send it. And you should see a list of several different prices. OK, so there are a few things I wanted you guys to firstly keep in, keep in mind. OK, so never take the first price. That is the first thing that I would like to stress um, so you can actually keep that in mind. You must always remember that there are an abundance of influencers out there. OK, tons and tons of influencers that, you know, they want collaborations, they want deals, you know, they can post on their page whenever they want. OK, so just remember that they're aware that some people will come down and try to negotiate pricing with them. So just remember that and be willing to, uh, you know, suggest a lower price. Obviously, don't lowball them to the point where they just get pissed off and don't reply to you. Just make sure that you, for example, if they send a price of like 100 bucks for a three hour shout out or a six hour shout out, whatever, go ahead and say, uh, why don't you do like uh, offer a hundred dollars for six hours instead or say something like, would you do seventy dollars? OK, so first thing, never take the first price. Just remember that there are tons of influencers out there and, you know, they want business. OK, uh, now the second most important thing that I want you guys to keep in mind is that you need to make sure that the influencers are aware that you're not here to just buy one shout out and disappear. OK, uh, they are looking for long term deals. OK, they're looking for collaborations. So if they see that you are you potentially have a lot of money to spend into this, um, which is why I, I specifically wrote, I am looking for long term collaboration to grow my Instagram page in the first message because it preframes them to think, ah, OK, this guy is actually looking to stay for quite a long time. He's looking to buy several promotions. Why don't I try my best to actually provide the best results possible so I can get, you know, more business in the long run? OK, so make sure that they understand that you're here to stay for lo a long time, assuming that the deal goes to plan. OK. And you don't always need to stay, especially if they don't actually provide the results properly. But it's important for them to know that you're here to do long term business. And once they're aware of that, it's much, much easier to negotiate a lower price. OK, because you get them thinking long term rather than quick, short term money. OK, so the two most important things, never take the first price. Um, secondly, uh, make them aware that you're not here to buy one shout out and disappear. OK, and the third and final one, and I touched up a little bit about this in the previous video, was to build connection with influencers. OK, if you build a connection with an influencer, then they are much more likely to give you a lower price. OK, so this heavily ties into networking. OK, you need to, uh, you know, provide value in some way. OK, and obviously, if you're starting out, you don't really have that much value to provide, then money is probably the only way that you can actually uh, provide value to them. Right. But let's say, for example, you're an expert with Facebook ads. OK, maybe be willing to help them out uh, with growing a Facebook version of their Instagram page, you know, or, for example, you're an expert with um, building uh, businesses. Right. Why don't you give them advice on how they can position their uh, Instagram business in a better way? OK, so always think about the skill sets that you already have and think about how you can actually benefit them and what they're currently doing. OK, and obviously, once you've built a connection with an influencer, the uh, the outcome is is 
it never ends you know it could lead to so many up so much upside so not only getting cheap shout outs okay so always keep that in mind so to summarize never take the first price uh, make them aware that you're not here to just buy one shout out and disappear and finally uh, always build connection with your influence with the influencers try to network as much as possible and uh, you should be able to get the best prices on the market so thanks for watching this video and i will see you all in the next one cheers